Tonight, we're staying with developments in River State, where the State High Court in Port Harcourt has ruled that Mr. Selesin Omehia is not a former governor of the state. Mr. Omehia went to court to challenge the move by the State House of Assembly, which stripped him of the status in 2023. Senior reporter Ucho Koro reports. Selesin Omehia occupied the office of the governor from the 29th of May 2007 until his removal by a Supreme Court judgment in October of the same year. Eight years later, the River State House of Assembly recognized him as former governor. But on the 6th of October 2022, the Assembly in a resolution withdrew the recognition. The presiding judge, Justice Daketi Makiu, held that Mr. Omehia is not qualified under the River State Governor and Deputy Governor Pensions and Fringe Benefits Law No. 6 of 2012. He said the House of Assembly did not have power to recognize Mr. Omehia as former governor in 2015, contrary to the judgment of the Supreme Court which nullified his election. On the case before him, the judge also noted that the High Court cannot deliver any judgment contrary to the Supreme Court. <laughs> Justice Q subsequently dismissed the relief sought in the claimants originating summons for lack of merit. The court held that in the eyes of the law, you know, affirming the decision in the celebrated case of uh, Rotimi Amechi versus Heineck, you know, the court also affirmed the fact that in the eyes of the law, that Sir Celestino Mayer was uh, never a former governor. I should not be accorded that status, the status of a former governor, you know, because he was not. And therefore, he's not entitled to benefit from the River State uh, former governors and deputy governors uh, law, you know, pensions law and the fringe benefit. And that is not entitled and therefore he should not be recognized. In its 2022 resolution, the Assembly also ordered Mr. Omehia to refund the sum of about 697 million naira paid to him as pensions and benefits. But the court agreed with Mr. Omehia that such order was unrealistic and impossible to implement as the money has been spent. The defendants, however, have an option of going to court with a fresh suit to pursue the refund. I will not want to comment on that, uh, considering my position on the, as a civil servant, I'm a government lawyer, so I wouldn't want to comment on that. Uh, that is, uh, the matter is quite a sensitive one, and uh, it will be left for the government to decide. The court rejected the plea to dismiss the suit and award damages, but instead directed both parties to bear their respective costs. I won't make any comments. Uche Okoro, TVC News, Port Harcourt. Please, pardon me for that.